It's the same story all around the world. The workers come into their jobs ready to do an honest day's work for a day's pay, but instead they're met by their boss. We're restructuring the company, the boss man says, and by that he means they're outsourcing all the jobs overseas. The jobs are shifted to other countries where they can pay the workers less, bigger profits come back to the execs, and the workers here go to the unemployment line. So here you are searching the wanted ads for a well-paying job that won't get outsourced. And don't think about asking your dad for help. He's looking at the same wanted ads. What's a job seeker to do? Let's look at some of the best paying jobs on the market that are completely outsourcing proof. First up, the carpenter. This is one of humanity's oldest professions, going back to ancient times when people decided, hmm, I think I'd like a roof over my head. And this cave has bears in it. People soon learned to build houses out of straw, wood, and stone, and they needed someone to build them. Today, carpenters are skilled tradespersons working on houses and furniture, and they earn over $40,000 a year in most states. Making this job even more appealing, you can become a carpenter without racking up student loan debt. Most states license carpenters through a state competency exam and an apprenticeship training program where you learn under a master carpenter. If you have a high school diploma and are willing to put in some hard work and learn from the best, a stable and reliable job awaits you. Why will carpenters never find their jobs outsourced overseas? Low-cost remote workers can design the homes and companies can automate the lumber processing, but carpentry needs a human touch. Someone has to make sure the pieces are being placed right to guarantee the house is stable, the weather won't get in, and the parts will last the test of time. Carpentry has been keeping people employed locally since the first cities were built, and it's not going to stop anytime soon. Next up is the retail sales manager, and I know what you're thinking. Retail? Aren't those jobs with a lot of turnover that mostly employ part-time workers? In a lot of stores, yes, but those part-time workers need someone to manage them, and a good manager is worth their weight in gold to the corporation. The retail sales manager has the keys to the store in their hands, and they have a lot of responsibility. They interview and hire new workers, they schedule the shifts, they evaluate the performance of the people under them, and they manage the store's policy and security. A retail sales manager is the face of the store, and the median salary for sales managers topped $50,000 in 2016. Many retail sales managers have a two-year business degree, which can be earned from a community college with low tuition. However, if you have retail sales experience, you may be able to jump right into the role. Why won't retail sales managers be getting outsourced anytime soon? Think back to the last time you saw an angry customer. You can hear them right now, can't you? Why isn't my coupon being honored? I want to speak to your manager! Do you think they'd be happy talking to someone on a computer screen? No. Every retail store needs an on-site manager to calm the customer down, make sure the store doesn't lose their business, and if necessary, firmly remind them of the policy. Plus, for hiring new employees, being able to do a face-to-face -face interview will make it much easier to find the right candidate. One field of work that's never getting outsourced is food service, and that's why the catering manager is one of the best positions you can apply for right now. If you've worked in a restaurant or fast food restaurant before, you know how hectic it can be. Imagine if you were serving that food on the most important day of a person's life. Caterers handle weddings, funerals, retirement parties, graduations, and many other events. They cook up large quantities of food and serve it to crowds of hundreds. To make sure it goes off without a hitch, every catering company needs a trusted manager that has experience in both leading a team and in food prep. The median salary for a catering manager is about $50,000, and one of the big advantages of this position is that it doesn't require an advanced degree. Many companies will hire someone who worked their way up the ladder in food service, but a two-year business degree will make you much more appealing. Food service positions will be the last to be outsourced or automated because you need hands-on workers. And when you have dozens of workers running around trying to make an event happen, you need that one person making sure everything runs smoothly. One dropped pan or one missed ingredient can spell disaster for an entire event and lead to hundreds of angry customers. Not when the catering manager is around. As long as there's events to cater and cranky mothers of the bride to demand everything goes just right, there will be catering managers on set to keep all those balls they're juggling in the air. Next up is a job no one's excited to see but everyone's excited to get, the dental hygienist. No one's looking forward to a visit to the dentist, but we need to keep our teeth clean. 
and soon the dentist is poking around in our mouths with his trusted dental hygienist by his side. This skilled worker isn't actually a certified dentist, but they do many of the basic tasks of dentistry to make the job easier for the dentist so they can focus on the trickier jobs like filling cavities. Demand for dental hygienists is going up, and getting into the field is much easier than getting your dental license. Instead of medical school and a pile of student loan debt, you need a two years associate degree in dental hygiene and a certification. License requirements vary from state to state, what doesn't vary is how well paid the job is. An average of $71,000 a year. Why will your dental hygienist job never be outsourced? Because you can't have someone poking around in your mouth, cleaning your teeth, and rinsing you out from across the Pacific Ocean, can you? The most outsourcing-proof jobs are the ones that require deft hands and constant presence to help someone else do their jobs, and your dentist doesn't want to do all the work themselves. As long as people have teeth and there are dentists to clean them, the dental hygienist will be a great career opportunity. There are only a few certainties in life. You have to pay your taxes, your alarm clock will fail to go off at the worst possible time, and death comes for everyone. Death is part of life, but that inevitability makes the funeral director one of the best outsourcing-proof jobs on the market today. The funeral director or mortician not only handles bodies and prepares them for burial or cremation, but they provide essential moral support to those who have just suffered a loss. Funeral directors can either go into business themselves, working with local funeral homes and cemeteries to carry out arrangements, or they can work as an in-house director for a funeral home. The average salary is over $50,000, and most states only require a two-year associate's degree in mortuary science. Why will the funeral director never be outsourced? Many of their functions can be sent abroad, like communicating with cemeteries and making plans, and much of the hands-on work, like embalming, is performed by workers employed by the director. But what can't be replaced is the personal touch of a kind and compassionate funeral director, greeting the family of the deceased and letting them know that their loved one will be honored by the services. A funeral director who can work well with mourners will never have to worry about their job. Ready to get your hands dirty? One of the best outsourcing-proof professions over a century is to become a plumber. These skilled handymen are responsible for handling the water, sewage, and draining systems in private and public residence. A clog in a toilet or a leaky pipe is a minor disaster at home and can easily be a major disaster if it hits an office building or a school. It's also hard for the untrained eye to figure out if it's a minor problem or a major one and attempts to fix it on your own can make it worse. Tell dad to put those pliers away. Like a carpenter, most plumbers get their start by working as an apprentice to a master plumber or completing a one to two year program at a trade school. Plumbing may have a reputation as blue collar work, but it takes a skilled set of hands and a good knowledge of the systems to do the job and it pays off to the tune of $50,000 salaries per year. Plumbing is a hands-on job and it is outsourcing proof, but there's another element that makes it one of the best bets for long-term employment. Casual calls to a plumber are rare, and emergency calls are common. When a pipe is backing up or the toilet won't flush, there's no time to wait for a plumber to clear their schedule or send someone over. That's why the most successful plumbers can work locally and make same-day calls. There are top plumbing companies that employ large staffs, but it's also easy for an independent plumber to hang their sign and go into business with the people they already know. The energy market is hotter than ever as countries ramp up their domestic oil and gas production, and those hardworking men and women on the rig need to know they're safe. That's where the petroleum engineer comes in. Equal parts scientist and plumber, the petroleum engineer travels to new oil drilling sites and works with maps of the ground to find the most efficient and safe ways to get to the mother load lurking underneath miles of dirt and rock. This is a highly skilled position and requires a bachelor's degree in petroleum engineering. But because it's an in-demand position, many oil companies are willing to pay off student loans when they hire someone with the right background. Expect to travel a lot while working as a petroleum engineer, and every site is its own puzzle, with millions of dollars in oil and the safety of the rig workers at stake. But if you can handle the pressure, you'll be rewarded to the tune of the average salary of over $100,000 a year. Oil companies guard their secrets closely and they're going to be hesitant to outsource any of their positions. A petroleum engineer is one of the people who will have the most information about the makeup of the oil site and what it's holding, so the company wants a single trusted individual for long-term work. If you have the right background and prove yourself to the company, this is one of the most stable and lucrative outsourcing proof jobs available. As long as there's oil to be pulled out of the ground, the oil companies will need you at the next site. What do old and young people often have in common? Both make visits to occupational therapists to help them learn how to manage basic tasks they're having trouble with. 
The occupational therapist trains people in skills such as hand-eye coordination and are more needed than ever due to the aging population, but you'll need a graduate degree to get the position. There's that giant pile of student debt again. But if you want a ticket to a well-paying job, consider becoming an occupational therapy assistant. The therapist plans the day's activities, briefs you on the clients and what they need, and you help carry out the exercises and make sure they're making progress. You'll report back to the therapist with progress reports on the patients and keep track of billing, making it easier for the therapist to focus on new patients. With an average salary of over $55,000 and only needing a two-year college degree to get started, it's the perfect starting position for anyone looking to get into the medical field. Why will the occupational therapy assistant never be outsourced? Well, you can't send the patients abroad for exercises, can you? The job requires a hands-on and compassionate touch, and it also needs close contact with the therapist. As long as people are aging and need help with staying independent, and as long as children need help catching up to their peers in school, the positions will be needed and the therapists will need help. Many hospitals and community colleges offer programs that will get you a hands-on education while earning your certification. Which of these jobs are you ready to jump into? It's too bad there's no outsourcing proof job watching videos on YouTube, but don't let that stop you. If you like this video, check out highest paying jobs you can do from your bedroom, or check out this video. Thanks for watching, and also don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.